What is going on YouTube? Uh, Arkansas Dipper right here coming right at you. Uh, well, anyways, we're going to be doing a dip review today. But on what? I don't know. Um, to make it interesting, switch things up, you know. Um, what am I going to be dipping on tonight, this evening? Uh, hey, I'll give y'all a little quiz. Uh, I'll give you three dips that I might be dipping on. Well, I'll be dipping on Grizzly Wintergreen, Long Cut, Copenhagen Sunburn, Long Cut, or my everyday dip, Copenhagen Wintergreen, Long Cut. Answer will come right at you right after this intro. So roll that intro. So mama's home cooking and dad was baiting my looking. I'm sitting on a tailgate thinking about those days just wish I was. That Texaco that Mr. Logan used to own They turned it into something else And Mr. Logan's long gone My best friend David He grew up riding in a wheelchair Thought I'd give a million bucks If that old boy was still here Ain't it funny how time goes by And memories seem to fade away They built a parking lot On a baseball field we used to And we are back Alright, the moment y'all have been waiting for Right here coming up Oh, that was just a battery Warning 20% left. Uh, today, we're gonna be dipping on Copenhagen Southern Blend Long Cut. Oh man, it's coming right at you. I'm about to put a good old fatty in. Comment down below if you got the answer right what you thought I was gonna be dipping on. So just do that. Let's shut the hill up and put a dip in. Oh yeah, a little bottle. My jug is getting rinsed out right now, sponged out. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. So bear with me on that one. Look at that. Oh, golly. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. You dip, man? Yeah. I do. I shut the fuck up and let's put a pinch in our mouth. Get a good old grab of this. Hold on here. Mm. I gotta get a good old grab of this shit. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good one right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh shit, fumbled that shit. Hold on here. You're probably thinking, just put the dip in already. Cause I'm thinking of that too. Hold on. Mmm. Mmm. Doing a little dip of on this. So far, so good. Uh, hold on here. I get shit all over my fingers out there put a dip in, but that's all right, though. Hey, it's all right. Good bottle. <laughs> all right, so anyways. Now, just to say something real quick before I start another video. Just start talking. I kind of like bottles. Uh, I don't get me wrong. I like mud jugs too. But with the bottles, I can control. Like I can tr control my uh, uh, stringers. Like right now, I think if I spin the mud jug right now, I think I'd have stringers. But in a bottle, I don't have stringers because I do that. You know, I wipe some stringers off in there. So that's a good thing about spinning a bottle. Uh, Okay, so anyways, let's get in the video. Uh, there ain't really much to talk about. Uh, here about a couple weeks, I'm going to Pennsylvania uh, to work. So I don't know if I'm going to video up there, you know, because I'm going to be working up there 10 hours a day. So I don't know if I'll be coming home and in the mood to make a video for YouTube. Uh, I might. Who knows? Shall I wait and see? Now, I'll tell you what. Uh... The pipeline is my thing, and uh, I'm just tell you this: if Hillary Clinton gets president, and she's gonna shut all that shit down, and that will piss me off, and I will be pissed. You'll probably never see me this pissed in my life. Probably, uh, you're gonna see all over my social media if she gets elected as president. You're probably gonna see all over my social media me like rampage, fucking freaking out, just flipping shit about it, and I'm probably gonna make a video on it too. I'm gonna. Probably put a honker in about that size in my lip 
probably be spitting all over the camera, spitting all over the floor. I'd just be mad. <laughs> but you, the people, can uh, prevent that from happening. Uh, vote for Donald. <laughs> uh, um, so, anyways. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, another thing to talk about. I'm getting shit. I mean, I'm getting... T I don't know why I just said that. What the hell? Uh, I'm getting tired of my tax money. My hard tax money. The money that I work for and I pay for something. My tax money's going to people that sit on their ass all day. That has 15 kids running around. And they don't do shit. And they can get all this money to pay for their family and everything. That is, that is dumb. A software update. I don't want to do a software update. Alright, anyways. So, anyways... That's bullshit. I mean, get your ass up and go out there and work like the, all of us are doing. Don't be sitting on your ass all day watching your kids smoking pot, sitting there, doing whatever, being a terrible parent. Because them kids, them kids are watching their parents do that. And more, more than likely, they're going to grow up and do the same thing. And that's just another generation being taught wrong. That's just terrible, you know, and it's bullshit. I don't work hard for my tax money to go to people that sit on their ass all day. I'm just saying that's bullshit. And I think that uh, they, I don't think they should get our tax money. I think our tax money should be going to the veterans and their families or stuff like that. Or uh, charities, charities, sorry, to hospitals. Uh, Good Samaritan and Little Rock. Uh, I don't know if that's in Little Rock. Screw that. Don't even don't even think I said that. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But just send it to charities, veterans, my tax money. I would know that my tax money is going in good hands, you know. Not in some 50-year-old uh, uh, or 30-year-old woman sitting at the house or 50-year-old woman sitting in the house that has 15 kids running around uh, sitting on her ass all day smoking pot. Uh, teaching the next generation of kids that it's okay to sit on your ass all day and get uh, money from our tax money from the government and not work because that's bullshit. <laughs> anyways, get off that subject because I'm getting pissed talking about it. Uh, anyway, so um, who's going to win the NBA Finals? Uh, Steph Curry going to pull it out and bring home the championship? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, to get in on that NFL sport, I mean professional sports like the NFL, NBA, and et cetera, uh, I don't really care for it that much. Uh, I think that they're just people that, I think they just sit on the bench, you know, and say, hey, who cares if we lose? Uh, we're getting paid all this money still, so screw it if you lose. So, And they're not giving 100% on that floor or field. Uh, me, personally, I like college sports because they work hard and they like the game. They love the game, and they work their ass off 100%. They go 100% no matter what because they're, one, they're loving, they're they're in love with the game, sorry. And, two, they're working on to become that pro on that on a pro level. Anyway, so, anyways, if I was, okay, don't get me wrong here. If I was in the NFL or NBA, et cetera, pro athlete, I'd probably not give a shit either. I would be like, I mean, I'd be probably the same getting paid all that money. I'd probably be on fifth, sixth string, uh, sitting on the bench, not giving a crap, uh, getting paid all that money. So, it is what it is. I know it's far from it, but I'm ready for duck season. <laughs> it's summertime, and I'm ready for the winter to come here for duck season. Oh, man. Um, what else is there to talk about? Not really that much. Uh... Oh, yeah. I forgot a show that I'm watching. It's called The 100. I advise y'all to go watch it. Not right now, after my video now. Come on now. Uh, I advise y'all to go watch it. It's called The 100. And it's to tell y'all a little about it. I'm not spoiling anything for any of y'all out there that's going to watch it. If they, if you do. Um, just to give you all a little, you know, things that go on in it, about it. Uh, so, The 100. There's kids, I mean, there's people living up in space because radiation hit the Earth. And uh, there's radiation on the Earth, sorry. Um, so there's people living up in space in a spaceship called the Auric. And uh, anyway, so they're living up in a spaceship called the Auric. 
and there's these kids that done crimes. So their punishment is to the people up in the Ark, uh, they're going to send them down to Earth to see if Earth is a livable place. And uh, if, you know, if they die, it's, oh, well, that's a punishment. And if they don't, then screw it. They're, you know, they're not guilty no more. Uh, so anyways, so they send them down to Earth, and these kids, they find out that it's a livable habitat and to live in, and uh, they find everything. Um, they find things, people called grounders, people called reapers, uh, Mount Weather. Um, it's just, it's a really good show. I advise y'all go watch it. And I heard Mud Jug on one of his uh, videos last night. I was going through YouTube. Uh, I watched one of his videos. And uh, he said, he was talking about The Walking Dead and one of them, and he said that they never get a break. And it, I mean, it's not always something goes wrong. Uh, I advise him and y'all to go watch The 100 because I think The 100 is 100% 100 better than The Walking Dead. Uh, I mean, I got into The Walking Dead about for two seasons, and uh, I don't know, two or three seasons, I was like, is this ever going to end? Because the show always has to end at some point. And they just, I think they drug it way out of proportion with it. And uh, I think they went overboard with it. That's just me, though. Um, but the 100, back to the 100, I think it's way better. Uh, it keeps me on my toes. It'll keep you all on your toes. You're thinking what's going to happen next. I think to myself, like, oh, my gosh. Like, what's going to, what else is going to go wrong? There's already so much going wrong. And there's always something wrong in every episode every episode there's multiple things that are going wrong i don't know how many seasons there are three or four maybe and uh i don't know it's just so great i think y'all should go watch it uh make sure you comment down below what y'all think of it if you ever want if you already watched it actually get done watching this video or during the video comment on it and comment down below you know and uh comment how you like what you like about it and if you like it more than the walking dead um and if, hell, if you go watch it after this video, hey, come back to my video and comment on the bottom and tell me how you like it and tell me thank you <laughs> for giving the advice to go watch it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, final dip review on this Copenhagen Southern Blend. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. If you like natural dips, just regular dips, Southern Blend is the way to go. Uh, Copenhagen, just long cut, just original, you know, it's pretty good. Um, they're not long cut, fun cut, sorry. I think that's good too, uh, but I don't know, it's just, it's pretty good, if you ask me, uh, now, don't get me wrong, Copenhagen Wintergreen's my everyday dip, uh, but Copenhagen Wintergreen's dip, just so sweet, you know, I like feeling some burns in my lips, so I switch from Grizzly Wintergreen and stuff like that, uh, don't get me wrong, Copenhagen Wintergreen, everyday dip, always, until I die. Well, anyways, I hope y'all have a good rest of the night, if you're watching this tonight, whatever. And I hope y'all have a great rest of the week. Work your ass off. Get that money, because nothing in this world is free no more. 24-7, keep a dip pack in your lip. Uh, always keep packing uh, dips in your lip. And uh, y'all have a good night. I'll see y'all later.